there boys and girls how you doing uh, night door here Bob trucker uh, about to light up uh, Falcon uh, with uh, some Captain Black in the white pouch it's uh, one of the few over-the-counter blends I actually like I'm not I'm not snobby it's just that they make me sick to my stomach and this is uh, one of the ones that doesn't and it's got a nice little vanilla taste uh, it's like a cheaper version of lane 1q basically um, uh, stogie uh, farts <laughs> uh, mentioned um, uh, my falcon in my uh, last video that uh, showed uh, the dog pile um, some of you may not know how a falcon operates uh, it has uh, bowls that screw on and off you can uh, with one basic uh, stem and shank uh, you can have several different bowls variety of quote quote shapes you know they also have a bent stem I have two bent stems um, I'm not going to completely take this apart because I've already got it loaded with the tobacco but well let's see oh it's not really going to fall out you can see it fall, fell out a little bit a little reservoir in there that uh, catches the the moisture uh, from from uh, that builds up that would normally be developing um, steam which leads to tongue bite and this eliminates a lot of this these are for extremely uh, simple designs they're uh, very cool nice pipes just a sec. Uh, Jeff was uh, mentioning something that was brought up by Jay and I just dialed back through YouTube. I just got done watching uh, Jay's uh, video now. What's in it for you? Um, why do you make YouTube videos? I'm a bit like Jay. You know, he, he said he's not very social. Um, I'm, I'm introverted to the extreme. I've never uh, okay I, 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 uh, uh, there's going to be a little bit of honesty here I've never in my entire life been good at making friends never not even when I was a kid uh, I would have like one or two friends and that was it um, never the kind of person got invited to you know like parties kids birthday parties or you know shit like that point uh, in junior high school eighth grade I started uh, smoking dope just so I could um, be part of a clique uh, you know the potheads <laughs> uh, played football was really actually you know pretty good at it uh, but uh, uh, no, it was no good at socializing, no good at making friends. Uh, the jocks didn't, you know, hang out with me. Uh, or I didn't hang out with the jocks, however you want to put that. Um, and even the 
carried through as an adult. You know, not a lot of friends. Uh, uh, the friends I have here uh, in town where I live um, get together. Uh, you know, uh, socialize uh, on occasion, but. Um, For me, I mean, like, I can see, I can see, you know, their interactions, they're good friends, and I hear them talking about, you know, how they get together and hang out times when I'm basically not there. Um, basically, they're not the kind of, you know, uh, friends that you could depend on to, uh, you know, if you need something in an emergency or, or, you know, needed somebody to really go out of the way and do something for you. Um, they're more like friendly acquaintances. And that's not their fault, it's mine. I've just never been good at making friends. So what do I get out of YouTube? Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, a lot like what uh, Jay was saying, you know, uh, a sense of getting together with you know or feeling at least feeling like you're getting together with uh, you know other people have some of the same interests you do in this case the pipe smoking um, you know and people people respond to your videos and then you comment back and I mean you know, when nobody watches your videos, it just makes you feel like shit, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, you know, Jay touched on, on, part, uh, on part of that about the numbers, you know. And, I mean, it's not an ego thing. Oh, I've got big numbers. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, there's some pipe presenters out there that have huge numbers, you know people in, in uh, upwards to a thousand watching each video uh, you know and hey you know um, but it's nice uh, a, a certain amount of, of, of camaraderie to know that some people are are watching um, you know and if you lived closer maybe you'd be able to hang out and you know and talk with them, share a pipe and, and, and shoot the shit, you know. Uh, so in, in a sense, uh, you know, it helps you feel connected in a world that's disconnected. Hmm. Anyway, um, Oh, for some of you, some of you mentioned the dog pile, and I got chewed out by Ishi, uh, who has been a truly uh, great friend for from uh, uh, the pipe smoking community, and, and you know we're friends now beyond pipe smoking. We Skype, we talk every day. You know he lives in Sri Lanka, um, and uh, he's sort of like a you know. Uh, brother almost <laughs> you know never had a brother and uh, uh, but he chewed me out about my dog pile of pipes I had uh, on the table here because uh, uh, I've only got two tiny pipe racks that holds a total of about 10 pipes and I have like 80 pipes and I had basically this dog pile on the on the table and my method of rotating pipes was basically that uh, uh, pick up a pipe, smoke it. When I was done, it would go inside a coffee mug. And when all the pipes were uh, smoked, they'd be in the coffee mugs, and then I'd pull them back out and make another dog pile of pipes and <laughs> start all over. Uh, well, thanks to Ishi chewing me out, I've improvised, and uh, I'm temporarily out of work. So you know, but uh, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, uh, but I improvised and solved the dog pile problem. And uh, uh, there you can see the mugs. But cardboard box, 
cut holes in the top and there you have a improvised pipe holding device <laughs> it's uh, you know hey not fancy but no more dog paw right so till next time uh, may all your roads be smooth the chicken house is closed may your pipe never run empty God bless <laughs>